हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जांपल्स बेस्ड ऑन इफेक्ट ऑफ मल्टीप्लिकेशन बाय टी फर्स्ट शिफ्टिंग थ्योरम एंड लीनियरिटी प्रॉपर्टी फॉर फाइंडिंग लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द गिवन फंक्शन सो लेट एस सी अवर फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल हियर वी आर आस्ट टू फाइंड लैपलास ऑफ टी इन टू साइन क्यूब टी लेट एस सी इट्स सोल्यूशन Guys, if I consider sin cube t as f of t, then this will become Laplace of t into f of t. And in such cases, we use effect of multiplication by t to find out the Laplace transform. So let us first recall the effect of multiplication by t. It says that Laplace of t into f of t is minus derivative of phi of s with respect to s, where phi of s is Laplace of f of t. That means we have to first find out this laplace of f of t and in our case f of t is sin cube t so let us first find out laplace of sin cube t to do so i would like to recall trigonometric identity of sin 3t which is 3 sin t minus 4 sin cube t so here we got sin cube t so this sin cube t can be written as 1 by 4 3 sin t minus sin 3t now i replace this sin cube t with this expression so we get this as laplace of t into 1 by 4 3 sin t minus sin 3t now we apply linearity property and we write this as 1 by 4 goes outside 3 into laplace of t into sin t minus laplace of t into sin 3t now we have to find out laplace of t sin t and laplace of t sin 3t to do so we first find out laplace of sin t and sin 3t using formula of laplace of sin at which is a upon a square plus a square in first case a is 1 and in second case a is 3 so laplace of sin t is 1 upon a square plus 1 therefore laplace of t into sin t using this formula will be minus derivative of this phi of s with respect to s what is derivative of 1 upon a square plus 1 it is minus 1 upon a square plus 1 the whole square into a square plus 1's derivative which is 2s so together we have minus into minus 2s upon a square plus 1 the whole square this minus into minus becomes plus so laplace of t into sin t is 2s upon a square plus 1 the whole square similarly laplace of t into sin 3t we will calculate first we write laplace of sin 3t which is 3 upon a square plus 3 square then according to effect of multiplication by t laplace of t into sin 3t will be minus derivative of this phi of s with respect to s and what is derivative of 3 upon a square plus 3 square with respect to s it is this minus as it is minus 3 upon a square plus 3 square the whole square into derivative of a square plus 3 square which is just 2s so we have 2s in the numerator this minus and this minus becomes plus so together we have 6s upon a square plus 3 square the whole square as we have found laplace of t sin t here and laplace of t sin 3t over here we will put those values into this rhs so we get laplace of t into sin cube t so laplace of t into sin cube t is this i hope guys you understood this example so let us proceed with next one next we are asked to find laplace of t into e raised to 3t into sin 2t guys this is very interesting example here apart from t we have exponential term as well so you may ask me sir is this example of first shifting theorem or effect of multiplication by t so i say this in this example we have to use both of these effects that is first shifting theorem as well as effect of multiplication by t both simultaneously we have to use in fact you have to choose which one we have to use first is it effect of multiplication by t or is it first shifting theorem 
so i would suggest you that you use effect of multiplication by t first and then first shifting theorem let me show you how you can do it so let us see the solution here in this expression t e raised to 3t sin 2t we will consider sin 2t as our f of t we will first find its laplace transform then we will find out laplace transform of t into sin 2t and then finally we will find out laplace transform of e raised to 3t into t into sin 2t using first shifting theorem so let us proceed first laplace of sin 2t laplace of sin 2t can be obtained using formula of laplace of sin at which is a upon s square plus a square so laplace of sin 2t is 2 upon s square plus 2 square that is 4 then laplace of t into sin 2t can be obtained using effect of multiplication by t which says laplace of t into f of t is minus derivative of phi of s that is laplace of f of t with respect to s this is our phi of s so let us find its derivative and multiply it with a minus sign so laplace of t into sin 2t is minus derivative of 2 upon s square plus 4 and what is the derivative of 2 upon s square plus 4 with respect to s it is 2 as it is you can keep it outside minus 1 upon s square plus 4 the whole square into s square plus 4's derivative with respect to s which is 2s so we have 2s in the numerator with minus sign upon s square plus 4 the whole square Finally, this minus 2 into minus 2 becomes 4 s upon s square plus 4 the whole square. Now, we treat this as phi of s, our new phi of s. Earlier, we considered this as our phi of s. Now, we use this new phi of s to find out Laplace of e raised to 3t into t into sin 2t. And this time, we are going to use first shifting theorem. According to first shifting theorem, Laplace of e raised to at into f of t is phi of s minus a where a is coming from here and phi is nothing but Laplace of f of t. This is our phi of s. So Laplace of e raised to 3t, t sin 2t is nothing but phi of s minus 3 because a is 3 here. Phi of s minus 3. So you can write phi of s minus 3 from phi of s by simply replacing every s in it by s minus 3. So our final answer will be this minus 2 into minus 2 is 4 s becomes s minus 3 s minus 3 the whole square plus 4 the whole square so this is your final answer i hope guys you understood this example in this particular example we have used first shifting theorem as well as effect of multiplication by t now let us proceed for next example here we are asked to find laplace of t into 2 sin 3t plus e raised to 2t let us proceed for solution. Here we distribute this t over these two terms. So we get Laplace of t sin 3t. This 2 is scalar. You can keep it outside. Plus Laplace of t into e raised to 2t. This is due to linearity property of Laplace transform. Now we first tackle with Laplace of t into sin 3t. Here we have to first find out Laplace of sin 3t which can be obtained using formula of Laplace of sin at, which is a upon s square plus a square. So Laplace of sin 3t is 3 upon s square plus 3 square, this one. Now Laplace of t into sin 3t can be obtained using effect of multiplication by t, which says it is equal to minus into derivative of this phi of s. So Laplace of t into sin 3t is minus derivative of 3 upon s square plus 9 with respect to s you can take out this 3 and what is derivative of 1 upon s square plus 9 it is minus 1 upon s square plus 9 the whole square into 2s so this is the laplace of t into sin 3t later on you can multiply this minus 3 with minus 2 to get 6 now we proceed for laplace of t into e raised to 2t here i am going to use first shifting theorem to find out Laplace of t into e raised to 2t. So here I will consider f of t as t. I will first find its Laplace transform. Then I will apply first shifting theorem 
to find out Laplace of t into e raised to 2t. So let us recall first shifting theorem. It says that Laplace of e raised to 18 into f of t is phi of s minus a, where phi is Laplace of f of t. As I said earlier, here f of t is t. So let us write its Laplace transform. We know Laplace of t is 1 upon s square. So this is our phi of s. And by first shifting theorem, Laplace of e raised to 2t into t will be phi of s minus 2. So it will become 1 upon s minus 2 the whole square. So this is Laplace of t into e raised to 2t. At the end, we will substitute values of Laplace of t sin 3t and Laplace of t e raised to 2t over here in this RHS to complete our solution. I hope guys you understood this example. Now it is your turn to solve some examples. Below are some practice examples. Please do it yourself. The final solutions are also mentioned below. Guys, please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not. And if you like the video, please click the like button and share this among your friends. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.